Hi, I'm Sean and welcome to Lens Cove Lessons in Boating. Do you want to know how to never have to use your paddle on your boat? Stay tuned as we prep your boat for this summer. Prepping your boat for the season is one of the most important actions you can do. You want to make sure you have safe, fun, and a low cost beginning of your boating season. So on today's video, we're going to cover why it is important to do these basic items, what to do to the engine and the drive, the importance of a walk around, what to do to the boat and to the systems, and what to check once the engine is running. So the items we're going to cover on today's video are going to help you be safe they're gonna definitely save you money if you catch things, or I should say, save you money if these things are overlooked. The hassle of having to be towed in off the water on your first weekend can put a damper on your whole summer. Not to mention the fact that service departments and marine businesses are very, very busy in the spring, and it could take you two, three weeks, even a month, if you miss on some of these items. This is the most important piece of equipment on your boat, and it's called a drain plug. I can't count the number of times that we've missed putting this in or seen a customer have a really bad day by missing putting it in. If your boat is stored correctly, it should be stored with the drain plug out so any moisture that's in the boat has a chance to drain. So the very first thing you're going to do is put the drain plug in. While the boat is out of the water, either on stands or on a trailer, you're going to want to check the lower unit lubricant. That's the lubricant that keeps your drive functioning properly. You're going to want a nice big screwdriver for this and the first thing you're going to want to do is check the level and if lubricant doesn't come out of the level hole we use a small item preferably white to put in there to see that there is lubricant at that level and we're good. Assuming you change the lower unit lubricant in the fall or your dealership did all you now have to do is check to make sure there's no moisture and we do that by cracking the bottom or fill screw just to make sure that there's no moisture accumulated in that drive oil. We pull it out just a bit. And if there's any moisture, it won't look like lubricant. It will look like chocolate milk. Make sure you clean up after yourself so none of this oil gets in the lake. If your boat is an inboard outboard or a stern drive, you may be able to check your lower unit lubricant right on the side of the engine. There's often a monitor bottle here and you just top it up to the fill line as it may go down over the course of the season. Next, we're gonna check the oil level. If you have a four-stroke or an inboard-outboard engine, you're gonna have an oil dipstick. Assuming you changed it in the fall, which is preferable, all you're gonna to need to do is check the level. Make sure you dip twice. So you take out the dipstick and clean it, and then you put it back in to check. And this one's full. The reason you do that is because when the boat is moving around, oil can slosh up into the tube and give you a false reading on the first dip. Once the hot weather is here and you wanna go boating, you're not likely gonna keep a close eye on things in your boat. It's the perfect time for you to check for things that may be damaged on board the boat. Take a good look at the exterior, look at all your fittings, your cleats, your gas fill. Make sure nothing looks loose. Put your finger in them, twist them, give them a jiggle. Make sure your windshield's good and tight and really just walk around the boat and give it a good visual inspection. You wanna look at the sides, look for cracks and dents. You wanna look at the bottom, make sure that there's no crazing or things that are gonna cause an issue in the season. Just take a really good once over because it's the perfect time of year to do it while it's still on the trailer. And we know when it's July, you're not gonna feel like doing it. One of the most important parts of your boat is the battery system. And every season we use a small wire brush to make sure that we have clean battery terminals on the battery and that the wire ends on the cables are clean as well before we install the battery. Now that we have the battery hooked up and we've made sure it's clean and ready to go, we're gonna do a quick systems check. The things are the most important. Of course, we want our stereo to work, but ultimately we wanna make sure our navigation lights work, we wanna make sure our bilge pump is functioning, and we wanna make sure the horn and all the safety gear is, is working properly and the engine's going to start and steer. So usually what I do is I would start it up, make sure it's going to run fine, make sure that it's pumping water. If you see that telltale of water coming out, you'll know that the uh, impeller is good and you're pumping good water. Check the steering, make sure it's going to be smooth and that there's no hang-ups or rough spots. If that's okay, we'll turn the engine off, 
and I'm going to check the lights and the horn. So horn working well. Bilge pump, you have to sometimes listen. Yep, I can hear it. And then we're going to check the navigation lights and just make sure they're working correctly. While the engine's running, we want to check our emergency kill switch and make sure it kills the engine. The other thing we're going to want to check is the power trim and make sure it's functioning properly as well. Hopefully you do now feel like you're ready to get out on the water safely and have fun on your first day. Make sure you do all these items before you get to the ramp so you're not holding anyone up. Here is a playlist for other boating tips that you might find useful. Check out the description below for a downloadable PDF with all of these items covered in one place for you. Thank you for joining us on Lens Cove Lessons of Boating for today's video. Remember to like this video and subscribe for more. Be safe, have fun, and we'll see you out on the water.